come to you last year, right. get your man of the match, and if we're going to beat Chelsea, all right? We're here with the Nils outside Carroll Road somehow. 3-1 um, to Manchester United. Um, how are you feeling after that one? Wow, buzzing. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, Alex said 2-1. I said we'll be lucky to get more than one, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, wow. We had more than one in the first half. Having missed two pens. <laughs> I know, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? I thought they should have been retaken. I'm sure Creel was like three or four yards off his line. Yeah, but a, few, a few people mentioned that online as well, yeah. but they never seem to pull those ones up, do they? No, they never seem to, to make him retake it. And he was messing about before he should have even been booked before that but again we can't argue you know what I mean we've uh, we scored three it was three. so good to see Rashford scoring after missing that penalty because he does seem like someone that he has a good game scores against Liverpool but it seems like his confidence can switch so quickly doesn't yeah, it? But, yeah he's definitely a confidence player and uh, yeah like you say uh, we were pleased that he got that goal after and it was a good finish he took it really well but, the, uh, the, the, the third goal uh, Martial is a oh, link up play between yeah. them he's needed that hasn't he someone to, to play off yeah, exactly. Like you say, that quick one-two between the two of them, absolutely superb. And what a cheeky finish, absolutely brilliant. Just topped off a really good performance. How are you feeling about this whole season so far? Like, how are you feeling about it? When you think about it, is Ali going to be here at the end of the season? Where do you think we're going to... Like, how are you feeling? I hope so. I, I hope he will. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm always a glass half full. Uh, and I was confident before the season. Then we get that 4-0 win against Chelsea. You're not thinking you're going to win anything, but you're thinking, oh, you know, we might have a... You know, good start here. Everyone seemed to be playing well in the formation, and they all went downhill from there, didn't it? Mm. Um, but um, yeah, it, it's always going to be a suck it and see season. You know, we, we sold a lot of big players and we haven't replaced it, so it's always going to be difficult. Um, but you know, I'm confident. You know, we, we're not going to win anything. If we can win a cup and, and just, you know, avoid relegation. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is out today. We won a six pointer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's uh, like what. Nights like tonight, just like United of old, the crowd are really on top as well. It was really, really good. Um, we, we went back from the back three to a 4-2-3-1. Um, I was worried Ali might just stick with it and, and never change again, but he's showing a little bit of flexibility, isn't he? Yeah, I think we, we needed to, to go back to that formation today. I can understand why he did it against Liverpool, um, but we needed to win today. Um, it was a good game for us because they're worse than us. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great to get a win and it's nice to see a few goals. We could have got a few more as well, couldn't we? And it's a shame to, that we conceded um, to late on. Just would have been nice to get a clean sheet. But, yeah, it's good to get three points and hopefully get people's confidence up a bit. And this is the time you want to bring the youngsters on. Like, he brought Gardner on and he, he looked good and composed. Sometimes we've been bringing the youngsters on when it's one all or we're losing and it's a lot. Brought the young Greenwood on and uh, Jesse as well. Yeah, I mean, Green, Greenwood, come on, it's good to, to get some, some more time. His touch seems to let him down a lot, and Lingard just not happening for him at the moment. What do you think has gone wrong for Jess? Because he seems to be a player that, even when he doesn't provide goals and assists, should be able to provide the team with, you know, movement, space and stuff. But his whole performance has been off recently. Yeah, it's, it's been, like, last year. I, d I don't know what's gone wrong with him, because he, he, he had a really good season and was getting a lot of goals and getting, like you say, good movement. He's always buzzing around yeah. a lot, isn't he, and, and trying to create stuff. But it, for whatever reason, it's just not happened for him for, for a good you while. Think of that run under Oli, initially when he came in, he was the one playing up top with Martial and Rashford and almost being yeah. the, the, the foil and making things happen for them, and now he's dropped. And Danny James has taken his place. Danny James talking about him today. What an assist for Rashford, and he nearly pulled another one out of the bag for for Martial, what have you made of 15, 16 million pounds? I know he's been one of the shining brights this season, hasn't he? It's, it was a snip, really. Great pace. And games like today, again, we, we got in front and we could play on the counter then, and he gets a bit more space and he can use his pace. Like you say, it's a brilliant ball for, for Rashford for the, the second goal. Um, didn't think it was a penalty, the foul on him, but he's got that threat anti, you know, he's going to frighten defenders and. He's yeah, he's definitely the the buy of the season. I think not just for us. I think in the whole league for the for the price we paid for him. Um, this this week has taken a little bit of pressure off Oli. The pressure was building a little bit. Um, obviously, we've still got some difficult games coming. Or Chelsea, Bournemouth. Are you still worried about those games, or do you think we've turned the corner? I think it's too early to say we turn the corner, uh, but I am positive. I'm always positive, positive about going into games, and we it will probably go down to the bridge on Wednesday and and, and beat them. I really do. I think uh, uh, you know it's it's always a tough one there, but um, you know I think Ali's played there a few times, and we've had some really good uh, results. Uh, uh, Is Ali the man still? You think? 
There's no point changing them at the moment, I don't think. I don't think there's anything to be gained. But the answer in itself is that you're not sure, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I suppose when we, we, we needed to give him the job when he had such a good run. But then it, I, I, I don't think anyone can put the finger on what happened from when he, he took over as interim manager to then when he, he got full time. He, did, he doesn't have the experience, does he? But, I mean, he's a legend at the club, isn't he? So the fans are always going to back him and we, we need to invest in the squad. Need more attacking players. We, we probably say the same, and you probably get it on every, every after every game, don't you? We need more attacking players, um, and we need we need to give him a, a, a chance. Really, he's, he's still got players from all three, four different managers fr from before he was even here. So I feel like we need to give him a, a bit longer. But was he the right man at the time? Possibly not. But you're always going to back Ollie. Yeah. You have to stick with him, right? Let's end this with Alex. You've rolled over my toe twice already, <laughs> but I'll let you off out. Um, who was your man of the match today? McTominay. Scotty McSauce. Apparently his name, new name, isn't it? Yeah. So Scott McTominay is the man of the match. Um, what a goal, by the way. Uh -huh. Great goal. How happy are you to see Marciano back? You're buzzing. Uh, yeah. And are we beating Chelsea this midweek? Defo. Defo. Your dad thinks we're beating them as well. All right. So we're going to beat Chelsea. Is that going to be a draw and then on penalties or are we going to beat them in 90 minutes? 2-0. Ooh. And then what about Bournemouth? 3 uh, Oh, God. So now we've popped with the away wins yeah. and scoring more than one goal. We're going to keep it up for the rest of the week. Yeah. And two clean sheets. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Alex, I appreciate you, mate. And hopefully, Jimmy Garner will give you a shirt at the next game because I hear someone nicked it off you today. Where is he? Should we go find him? <laughs> Come on, let's do it.